The Electric Kool-Aid Acid Test by Tom Wolfe Character Analysis of Ken Kemsey and Ken Babos. Ken Casey grew up a very intelligent man. He went to Stanford where he experienced with mind-altering drugs. Quote, Kensey came off cheerfully as a visionary who had forsaken his riches and his career as a novelist in order to explore new forms of expression. Tom Wolfe painted Ken as a Christ figure, someone who started a new religion. Kensey, Ken Babs, Kensey's right-hand man, along with his band of misfit potheads, would travel around the country in a tie-dye bus they called Further, dropping LSD and numerous other psychedelics. Ken would preach about how psychedelics gave him a new passage to love and peace-loving idealisms. Kinsey would captivate listeners from all over the world and gain a massive following. Quote, A lot of people are opening the doors in their minds for the first time. But people like you have to help them. There's only two directions you can go. The Merry Pranksters idolized Kensey as a hero of growing counterculture. Quote, A lot of people looked up to you, Ken. You're one of the heroes of the psychedelic movement. As a book continues and the pranksters gain popularity, they meet with numerous dangerous people such as the Hell Angels, Grateful Dead, and Allen Ginsberg. Soon everyone knew Kensey's name. Kensey was arrested for marijuana possession and fled to Mexico, where he then met up with the pranksters, determined to continue his course of further revolutionizing the LSD community. He was soon caught in Mexico, brought to the U.S., and pled to the jury that he would make a prankster movement into acid test graduation. This graduation would be the attempt to receive inner subjective exercises without the use of mind-altering drugs. Throughout Kensey's crazy journey, Ken Babs, Kensey's best friend, supported him. Babs was the driver for the bus and was crucial for the success of the prankster's journey. Quote, I don't have to, said Babs. I'm the boss here. They're working for me. End quote. He would drive day and night, committed to the pranksters. Ken is also so smart. He is credited for the sound system he created for the Trips Festival. A 1966 three-day f- music festival held in San Francisco. Babs, being a sound engineer, resolved the problem of crappy distorted speakers. He made sound amplifiers that would not create distortion when tuned up to high sound level volumes and revolutionized concerts today. In Babs' early life, he served as one of America's first advisor units in Vietnam from 1962 to 1963. In 2011, Bab published a novel, Who Shot the Water Buffalo, about the Vietnam War. This novel took him 45 years to complete. And lastly, Babs was a good friend to Kensey. He supported him throughout his whole journey and bailed him out of jail when he was caught for marijuana possession. We've got the band back together. You've got to help us, Ken, and not work against us.